Welcome back. Strong herd health programs are critical to the success of cow-calf producers across the country. And as all cattlemen know, fewer illnesses in the herd means better results. Cattlemen and cattlemen reporter Brian Baxter takes us to South Central Florida to explain why preventing a common sexually transmitted disease is vital to the herd's success and profitability. I was born in uh, Lake Wells. Um, my mother and all my children were born here, probably three or four generations. I was brought up on a ranch environment and um, essentially or eventually went to vet school at Auburn. I came back to Lake Wells and opened up a practice with uh, my primary interest in the cow-calf segment. After opening his own veterinary practice, Dr. Robert Jukic's love for cattle led him to start his own cow-calf operation. Initially, I bought about 500 head of cows and uh, started an operation on about a 2,500-acre lease. And then five years ago, I acquired this lease with uh, approximately uh, 1,200 head of cows on it. After 35 years as a veterinarian and 10 years as a producer, Dr. Jukic knows what effect a common sexually transmitted cattle disease called trichomoniasis can have on a herd's reproductive performance. Trichomoniasis is a venereal disease that is transmitted primarily by the bull during the breeding act. A lot of producers were coming up with calving seasons that were prolonged, a lot of calves being born late in the season. They were seeing a lot of repeat breeders in their herd. It's an organism, a protozoal organism, called Tritrichomonas fetus. And typically, a uh, cow gets exposed, this organism amplifies in a reproductive tract, and the response to that amplification then is inflammation that results in abortion. Producers have to be aware of their herd's activity in order to identify the symptoms of trick before an outbreak occurs. Well, generally the first thing that a, that a rancher notices, and if he's really watching his breeding during his breeding season, he'll notice that the, the, that the breeding activity has declined, the bulls are laying around, not real busy, and all of a sudden they go back to work again. And that's because cows that were settled and it, you know their bodies told them that they're bred. Now they've aborted and they're coming back into heat. They need to be aware of prolonged calving seasons and late calving cows. A cow will clean herself to some degree after two or three heat cycles or two to four heat cycles. And then they will breed and carry a pregnancy. Dr. Jukic is all too familiar with the repercussions of a trick outbreak. A prolonged calving season is what tipped him off that he had a trick problem in his own herd. My first year uh, when I trick tested my bulls, I found no trick animals. Uh, the second year I tested uh, out of 75 head of bulls, I had five positives. And uh, it took me a couple of years of whole herd testing to, and vaccination to eliminate it. I uh, still have a bunch of late calving cows, but uh, we're trying to work out of it. The first year you get an exposure on a ranch, typically you don't see it clinically. But if you go into that next year with a big chunk of your bull battery infected, the second year is when you have the economic wreck. The symptoms of trick aren't always apparent. While some infected cows don't show any symptoms of the protozoa, they can still spread it to other animals. These are known as carrier cows. Carrier cows are cattle that will maintain a pregnancy. They will not skip heat cycles. They'll breed, they'll become pregnant, and they will maintain pregnancy throughout. But any time in their life, they're shedding the organism, so they serve as a source of reinfection in your herd. But again, it, it's, it's really hard to identify those animals because they're in heat, breeding, maintaining pregnancies, and bringing a calf to the pen every year. Because carrier cows don't show any visible signs of trick, that's one reason why testing is so important in managing the protozoa. And producers who choose to test their bulls can rest assured they are getting accurate results. When we do that one test in these herds, we're approximately 80, 80 to 90 percent uh, effective in you know picking up the trick organism. If we do two tests uh, a week apart, we're approximately 95% of the animals are positive animals are identified. And if we do three tests, we're about 99%. Routine bull testing 
at the end of breeding season is really, really important. Uh, you can identify the infection in the herd. The sooner you know that you have this, this to deal with, the sooner you can take steps to minimize the economic impact. Despite rumors that trick testing is harmful to the bulls, under the hands of a skilled professional, Dr. Jukic assures producers it's very safe. I do the prepucial scraping. Um, it's a simple test. It's easy to do. It's fast. Uh, there's no problems created by the test. We do not produce any trauma to the prepuce or uh, any reproductive organ of the bull when we do the test. If a bull tests positive for trichomoniasis, the protozoa can quickly cause a lot of financial damage, so it's important to take immediate action to minimize the loss. If you get positive tests on a bull, there is no treatment, so the, the place that bull needs to go is to slaughter, and that's one of the unfortunate things about trick. Primary financial problems that ranchers experience are the late calving cow, calves are not uniform at sale, and then selling that late calf at a time of the year where it's less valuable. Uh, the other thing too is carrying an open cow for a period of time when she's not bred. But testing alone isn't enough to prevent or clear a trick outbreak. Vaccination is also a very important part of protecting your herd. There's a couple of things that we do to protect our herd against trick. One is testing the bull, two is vaccination. I think those go side by side, and uh, I don't think you can uh, eradicate or control the disease without either one of them. Testing alone would not have accomplished what we have accomplished now. You have to vaccinate and test. Beringer Ingelheim Vet Medica Incorporated has a vaccine called TrickGuard, which helps clear up an outbreak and helps protect cows from the full impact of the disease. We vaccinate the cow so that there's systemic antibody in her bloodstream and if she gets an exposure she can rapidly transition that antibody into the uterus to clean up the infection. If you have an infected herd, vaccinating the cows with TrickGuard according to label directions and give them at least 60 days to clean up the ones that were open and then come back with fresh bulls and rebreed. With more than three decades of experience, Dr. Jukic has learned the best way to prevent trick is to take steps to keep it from ever entering the herd. Testing bulls, segregating cows according to age, and vaccination are probably our three most important uh, processes in controlling trick in a herd. I would advise all producers to uh, consider testing. I think it's well worth the money spent. Reporting from G7 Ranch in Lake Wales, Florida, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more information on trichomoniasis or trick guard, visit our website at cattlemen2cattlemen.org.